each carrying a virus. This is Alexei, and he knows how to make biological weapons, and he lives in the Czech Republic. He's categorized Priority 1 Class A concerning being an enemy of the public. You want to hear some really scary shit? This is it. He knows how to make biological weapons of mass destruction, the sort of thing that leads to a permanent, complete population reduction. And he believes they send in personal messages on the television tower. And... He's an economic victim of the collapse of the Soviet superpower. It's about time everyone admitted that there's no world order. The truth is, the humans exist in a state of nearly complete disorder. Several terrorists in at least one nation are harassing habits to get control of his top-level classified information. It can lead one to severe intellectual and emotional stress when every moment of your life is a deeply profound ethical test. You won't even know what hit you. The Office of Technology Assessment of the United States Congress has calculated that a mere 100 kilograms of anthrax spores, which have a mortality rate of essentially 100%, released over a city like Washington, D.C., would kill between one and three million people in two weeks. I don't think he's safe. No one knows what to expect, but they think it'll be worse than a nuclear bomb. You'll have to watch people cough up blood and die right in front of you. People like your brother or your mom. Everyone dying all around you, bleeding out of every hole. Mass panic, mass insanity, mass chaos of the soul. I don't think he's safe. What are you supposed to do when you know more than you should? How are you supposed to tell which person or country or philosophy is good? Oh, and there's another problem. His addiction. It's chronic. CIA bioengineered marijuana. Deep, hardcore, psychosis-inducing, hydroponic. Technology gets hold of it. It's twisted into something that I don't think he's safe. There's this little thing that no one's doing anything about. The immediate threat of the humans wiping themselves out. This man lives in hell. His mind is constantly on the run. All he can do is try to keep his sanity, his balance, vicariously, through his own Buddhism and his four-year-old son.